currently looking here at um, getting your endorsement to move forward with the submission of a grant request to DCNR. And obviously, as uh, some of you know, we've been working on piecing together the proposed route for Phase 6, which will be one of our next routes, probably one of the most challenging routes that we have on the rails to trails, um, certainly involving crossing 422 and the uh, Norfolk Southern Rail Line. Um, the new rail, uh, red light. Oh, yep, yeah. yep. There's there's a number of improvements, and one of the reasons for us coming forward, uh, some of you may be aware that the end of April we're looking at having our public outreach session on this, and certainly with the development of this route, we don't have this is not written in stone. We'll continue to revise as we get comments at our public meeting, but one of the impetus for this is that DCNR sets their timeline of about early April where we can submit a request in for uh, DCNR monies for trail improvements. And the deadline for this is April 10th. So in order to keep this moving, we would hopefully get word uh, sometime in October about whether or not we you know, awarded the grant. And in that meantime, uh, we'll continue to move forward with uh, fleshing out this route and where it's going to actually go. Um, so. We, in order to keep our projects moving forward, um, we also have line items in the TIP in our Transportation Improvement Program for 2015 and uh, 16 in our TIP uh, with approximately, Tom, I believe the number is, we're looking at about 363,410 that's allocated in the TIP and we're requesting 363,068 from DCNR as part of uh, the grant request. Okay, I do have a question. Are you taking questions on this route or just? Okay. Sure. Um, my question is, <laughs> well, you know, does this price, I, I see here along Willow Street, uh, a talk of new sidewalks and crossings. Does this grant pay to put those in down beside Doug Henry and everything? Yeah, that is correct. Is that it going to be correct. curving and sidewalk? Is that correct? In one, in one quarter sidewalk? property, yes. you're talking about curving and some sidewalk. Yes. Mm -hmm. There's a, how, there's and a how many feet of sidewalk are we installing? Uh, it doesn't really tell that unless yeah. I just didn't read it, right? Yeah. It's a very it's small amount. Yeah, it's a very small amount, Commissioner. I don't think we have all of that uh, exactly nailed down as of yet. But I would say the good thing is that we do have an engineer on board, as you know, Mark Wilson, who does our bridge work and our rail trail work. And, and this will continue to be refined, but at this point, I'd say there still are some unknowns, and, and that is one of many of them. Okay. But that to me isn't a hurdle. It's just that we haven't gotten to the point yet where we have that as well defined as we can okay. or should. But time will sort that out. And I guess one of the other things with regard to the DCNR grant, too, is I think getting so that we can continue to move this forward, the grant it will be good for the three years. So as we look at the tip in terms of where our monies are allocated, there's going to be some time between now and then. It's not like the end of this year that you know we begin breaking ground. We certainly have had outreach to uh, the various property owners where we're looking at a lot of on-road routes and some uh, easements through uh, the PennDOT maintenance facility and some of the other locations. So we're still fleshing those details out, um, but I think if we wait, we end up then getting pushed back to where we'll go to the next round, and then we're back about another year into October, about 14. So, um. and, and since this is my home turf, I do have one more question, sure. if you can tolerate that for me, sure. please. Yeah. The um, bluish purple line, uh, it says spur. Yes. To get to Coleman's Park? <laughs> Correct. And is that part of this 363000 Yes. It is. No, no, oh, yeah. no, it is not. No, it is not. That's that spur will get constructed when we move to phase seven. But as a part of this study, the municipalities and the two parks that are a part of the steering committee said we want to ultimately nail down what is the future alignment for those connections. And our study included that, Commissioner. But no, it is not part of this grant application. That will ultimately tie into the next phase, phase seven. So it's under study with under this study. amount, but it's not constructed with this amount. That is correct. That is correct. Okay. But the good thing is that we finally have nailed down some concrete alternatives that really are very, very feasible and cost effective. And both parks endorse this. The city of Lebanon endorses it, North Lebanon Township and West Lebanon. We've met with them on numerous occasions, and this is pretty solid which is a good thing.
but we don't have the money for it yet. But we and, will. And my final question, I promise. No, that's fine. Uh, to cross over Lehman Street, I believe it is, are we going to get the um, bridge mm -hmm. from the school and bring it on over? No, no. no. Uh, the city still has plans to use that bridge. We've, uh -huh. we've confronted them and, and spoken to them about that on a couple of occasions. And they haven't sorted out what's going to be the ultimate disposition of that bridge because they're still sorting out what to do with Northwest Elementary. But their plans are to continue to use it for now. Okay. For now. Because, yeah, we sort of challenged them hard on that because that would be an option. And Dr. Bartley and others just said, no, for now, it's something we're going to continue to use. Okay. Just thought okay. I'd ask. Thank you. No, that's a great question. That's a great question. Martin, do you have a question? Yeah. This phase six, Tom. Yep. Do you know yet how far north it's going to go? Sure, it's going to go to 25th Street at the underpass to Norfolk Southern, just behind the Lebanon Valley Mall. Okay, so it's not going to the tunnel. Yes. No, not yet. Not yeah. done. Oh, that's, yeah. that's seven. Not yet. Phase oh, seven. That's, my, yeah. the, yeah. um, that's phase seven. Okay. That is phase seven. We have had some of the discussions with the EDC about the existing trail, but obviously, Martin, the, the tunnel is going to be another one of those projects that almost Thanks. might have to yep. be a standalone in and of itself with a, a special project being that I think the, the wisdom right now is that that's probably either going to be opened up again to be able to utilize that to get it further north. But I think we we feel that where we're at right now with six and its scope up into the EDC property is about as far as we can go with the... Now, you say it's going to go to the underpass mm -hmm. at 25th? Yes. That's Norfolk. Yep. Just to the south side of the underpass? That is correct. That is correct. Because that's going to be a problem getting across that railroad. Yeah. Right? Big problem. Well, the, the, the biggest issue, I think, and, and we've had this discussion with Mark from the standpoint of, you know, trying to span the, the rail crossing when you get into the ADA requirements for the, uh, the slope for people to be able to use a bridge, you also have to consider that you're spanning, you know, the tracks and having the clearance for the double stack cars that they're now running. Um, and the signal, the, the signal at the tunnel actually does have a movement for a ped. It's not what anyone would consider ideal. It's giving a person a chance to actually walk through the tunnel for a break in traffic. Right. But I think knowing what's happening at the business park, knowing um, that's probably the most, <coughs> the safest route to get somebody to the other side, that that, that improvement eventually at that tunnel is going to have to happen at some point and make might need improvement to, at the underpass. Yeah, yeah. that I mean that. I know with we've sat down with West Levin regarding you know some of the trucking issues that they've had in town and the fact that that location can't access trucks out to 422. So in other words, you're looking at making that underpass say bigger. Yeah, it might in the future. Now, right now, that's because that's a major. I mean, that's a major improvement when you look at Norfolk Southern. Gee, Tom, I asked. That to me sounds like a transportation project that needs to happen happen regardless of the rail trail. Oh, it does. So, so is that possible it would be done separately from the rail trail effort? Would you try and the underpass. It, steer it that Oh, way? yes. It's, it's in our long-range plan. It's in, okay. been in our plan since the beginning of the formation of okay. the Lebanon County NPO, John. So, yeah, that's something we have to look at in, in the future. But we think, like John said, with that PED actuation button, and as we get into project development, maybe we'll do something to enhance that slightly. That's not in this grant application right now, but we could amend that over time. We're going to have to do something with the underpass over time. We're going to. Now, the signals now that they put in place, that's a slight improvement, I'll say. But still, as time moves on and there's more <coughs> development, there's going to be more traffic, we've got to address that issue. And Will the construction take place? Probably in 2015. Oh, not that. Oh, that's a long way off yet. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, Commissioner, that's the point of why we're submitting for this grant now. now. Because once we get the approval, then we get into preliminary engineering, environmental clearance. That'll take about a year. While we're in that year, we're going to be constructing Phase 9 out in Jonestown, that 1.8 mile section. So this would follow the next year then. So we're trying to keep this all stacked up. Oh, you're doing a good job. Don't don't take my questions no. as harsh criticism. I'm just anxious oh, no. to get it done. And you also <laughs> mentioned a public meeting in the, yes. in the 30th of April. Yeah, I'll be talking to you soon, John, about okay. maybe you doing another short story, if you okay. would, please, sure. uh, uh, about that public meeting. It's going to be at the multi-purpose mm -hmm. room at HAD uh, on the 30th. And that's for the more broader, long-range... No, it's for this study. For, it's for this, for this study, study of this area, looking at 
the spur, which is oh, your last okay. page of your attachment, yeah. and the details of getting from chestnut oh, okay. over behind the mall. Because, again, this still is not etched in concrete. Right. We still need input. Yep.